you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm here. I, uh... That's the problem. Who are you? Who are you? And why are you here? I am Mecca. Oh, I'm Mecca. I brought the riding crop today. Let's see if I need to use it. Uh, let's see. Who is this? Pray tell. Why am I doing the pray tells? I don't know anymore. Most of you probably have no idea who I am. Oh, I know who you are because you made some headlines being the controversially uh, fired before you even made the air for doing the slur from SNL back in the thing, which, let's be fair, why didn't they check his social media before hiring somebody? I don't know. If slurring was a problem, I don't think anybody in Hollywood would have jobs. It just seems to be that... Hollywood and the entertainment industry and Saturday Night Live, I know they're not in Hollywood, they're in New York, they have more of what? An agenda, don't they? Oh, and it's not the one you think. Uh, I was actually, I was fired from this show. Uh, while look at this band chick. Oh, she's not amused. Look at, the, look at the band. The band chick, she's not amused back here, this guitar player chick. How old is she? Is she old enough to have a guitar? I go, but if, you know. Don't look that up, please. <laughs> if you don't know who I am, please don't Google that. It's fine. Oh, oh, I can play that. He said a slur about about Chinese people. Can we play it? Pretend, pretend you didn't hear this from me, huh? Pretend you didn't hear this one from me. So he said a thing. It's right in the beginning of this. Dude, yeah. Chinese down there. I wonder how that started. They just built one fucked up looking building and people were like, all right, no one said anything. Let Let's... the fucking chinks live there, huh? Oh. <laughs> well, they built these fucking, like, huge shanks. Yeah, so that might be why he got fired, huh? For that, for that. Now, now, as somebody who's not here to comment on what's istophobic and what is not, I am here to tell you that everybody on my Twitter feed seems to think that this person is absolutely crushing it and, and destroying everything. I will be the judge of that. Let's see. You haven't been funny so far, but let's see. We're only 48 seconds in. Fine. Amuse me, funny man. <laughs> I, uh, I don't... Please stop laughing at your own jokes. If I want to see that, I will go watch open mic night here in town. No, I, this is... I, sh I probably shouldn't be up here, honestly. No, you should I shouldn't. should be home. I should be... I should be a high school football coach. No, you should be sitting there playing video games, getting yelled at by your mom. That's what I should be. Like, God molded me perfectly to be a high school football coach slash ninth grade sex education teacher. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't know if your uh, new audience is going to appreciate having people teach their, their, they're awfully concerned about who teaches what, but then again, they, they want to hear slurs apparently other than uh, gay stuff. I don't know anymore. But that is, <laughs> that is what I want to be. That is, you know. I can feel it. It's in the, it's like my... Then maybe you should pursue that instead of being a comedian. True calling. And you feel, you know, I can feel it, you know, I'm getting older. It's passing me by. You know, like my biological clock is ticking on this stream. This girl in the audience is seven, playing guitar in the band. I, I don't understand. I don't think she's your audience, is she? You know how, like, uh... You know, like when a, a woman's biological clock is ticking, she sees like a baby in a stroller and is like, oh my God, your baby. Like that. No, I don't have that. No, I, I avoid them at all costs. Tell him if I see like, like a big 15 year old, I'm like, oh my God, look at the size of that kid. <laughs> With the right coaching, that kid could be something special, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> like, like what? Are you, are you, is this a groomer thing? Is he, is he trying to put them into. His van, his windowless van. I don't know. I actually, I come from a long line of coaches in my family. My, my father is actually a volunteer assistant girls high school basketball coach. So, yay, I was not wrong in, in, assume, in assuming the, uh, that angle, huh? Stay away from, stay away from kids in windowless van. Yeah, you, you'd seem like you would have a windowless van. I'm not accusing you. Right now. You, you went right there. You went right there before I heard that part. I hadn't heard that part yet. I took two seconds and I said, I don't know if you're very funny. Let's see. Let's assume you're not so I can snark on you. And you went the P you went the P E you went the P E D O wrote and you know you did and you did it. You get him on there? Yeah. There he is. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, look. Hey, look, my parents. My parents are here. Don't hate me too bad. My parents are here if you're sorry for me. There's my dad, the volunteer assistant girls high school basketball coach. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that seven-year-old behind you is going, mm-hmm. I'm on camera, so I have to pretend to smile. I thought it was funny. All right. You yeah, you thought it was funny. My dad? I deal with that all the time with other amateur comedians I might know, huh? Here to make fun of him for being a girls' high school basketball coach? All right. <laughs> I thought it was great. Never Get- mind. thought that was going to be a big hit here. Uh, really? He thought being a girls' high school basketball coach was going to resonate so well with your Saturday Night Live audience who has no idea who you are other than you got fired. No, my mom's... Why Why don't they have somebody like Zendaya out there promoting Dune or, or somebody? Like, they've had some of these people. They don't have Sydney Sweeney from Madam Web until next week. That might have helped when they had, you know, the Madam Web people on during, you know, right before that movie comes out. I don't know. Maybe. See, this is how these, these things used to do it. They would have somebody host who is out there promoting a new movie you know not somebody who doesn't even have a netflix special right now this guy doesn't even have a netflix special i watched some of his netflix special it is him talking about a bucket hat going woo america we're the best country in the universe and and his audience loves that his audience loves that (laughs) now my mom's up there with my mom (laughs) i'm not gonna make funny She'd be like, yeah, you better not or else uh, you're not my son. My mom asked me this a lot and it's kind of an intense question. My mom asked me, she's like, when did we stop being best friends? Uh, I thought you said you weren't going to make fun of your mother. Now, so now he's going to do a bunch of offensive material about his mother. And she's right. We used to be best friends. You remember that when you were a little boy and you like, you loved This is funny. This is funny. Why is this funny? Is this funny? Is this appealing to, you know, the politically, you know, the globalists are taking over audience that I think his Netflix special was designed for? Or the very liberal leading? Your mom and you thought she was the cool. You remember when you were gay? (laughs) You remember when you were just a gay little boy? Every little boy is just their mom's gay best friend. There's literally zero difference. I was gay for my mom. She would pick me up from school. I'd hop in the van. I'd be like, girl, tell me about your day. I thought she was cool. I would listen to her music. I'd be like, bam, 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 bam. Let's go, girls. I would, I would dance for her. Just... She'd be like, look at my little dancer. So that was, what, two weeks ago, give or take? Yeah, so that was probably on the way to the comedy event. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for laughing at my joke. He laughed at my joke. Oh, he laughed at my joke. Good. But, uh... My mom asked me when we stopped being best friends, and I don't, I don't have the heart to... When you stopped eating in her vahoo maybe? Tell her, because... When you squirted in your face? Like most men, I know exactly when me and my mom stopped being friends. It was, uh, it was the first time I whacked off. With her or without her? With her help or without it? I don't, I don't understand what the joke is. All right. Because before... <laughs> All right, this guy's not very funny. I've wasted enough of my day listening to an... Uh, so, Saturday Night Live, to have better comedians, please. You have somebody who is not very funny. You could just hire me. I don't know why you don't. Are you afraid of offensive material? Probably. See, I'm less likely to do racially motivated stuff and more likely to uh, go jump right to that level of when he stopped being best friends with his mom was when he stopped licking her down in the Vahuha area. I am Mecca. I don't have anything else to say about this guy other than he's not very funny. Please donate money to this channel if you think I'm funnier.